Hi guys, so I have another DIY video for you. In this video I'll be making a DIY velvet set. It's this cute kind of circle skirt and top and it was originally going to be a video for the holidays but it was super busy. I love this colour, it's a really rich wine colour. I hope you guys still enjoy it, it was really fun to make. Hey, so I'm going to show you this, similar to what I did when I made my Totoro kind of skirt dress. So I've done radius, it was some rectangle compass divided by pi, but so I decided to make a circle skirt again. And waist divided by 2 pi. I plussed 1 to my waist, you didn't have to do this, but the stretch. It always ended up in a bit bigger, but I just like, I'd rather make things something smaller than having to start again. So, so that's why I always like do it a bit bigger, because I don't mind having to start it again. So then I did... Um, 28 divided by 6.28 which is 2 pi equals 4.45 which would be the size for the first circle and the length is a lot shorter it's about 18 inches as I measured another skirt and that's the same length that I wanted it to be and then you do 4.5 times 18 and that's 22.45 and that will be the length for the second circle. So first of all we're going to start by folding the velvet fabric in half twice so when we make the skirt it will come out as one full skirt and won't have to be sewn together so right now i am marking out the first radius of the circle which is 4.5 and now i'm going to do a long ways the second radius of the circle which is 4.5 and you're going to do this all the way around to kind of create the first circle measuring it all the way around ensures that it's all the same length And once you've kind of chalked it all out with dashes you can then get the chalk and draw the circle. I love using chalk as it's so easy to rub out so you don't feel bad about making mistakes as I'd usually make a pattern for this but I didn't feel I needed to as I could just rub out the chalk easily. Once you've done that we're going to do the same with the bigger circle and measuring out I think about 22 inches And then, instead of doing that all the way around, Joe's genius idea was to grab a bit of string and to attach it to the chalk and make the string 22 inches long and mark all the way around, as this makes the circle accurate since it's such a big circle. I felt when I was measuring it out, it wasn't as accurate and this is kind of makes it perfect. So then I can just grab the chalk and draw all the way around the markings. It was so much easier. So give it a try, you just need a bit of string and it's just so much quicker. Now I'm going to cut out the first circle which is the waist circle and then next you cut out the second circle which will be the bottom of the skirt and just yeah very neatly cut it out. Now once you've cut it out when you unfold it you should already have one skirt look at the pleats they're so lovely it's just all together and it's just so much easier it's so beautiful now we need a waistband and to hem the skirt and do the top so now I'm just marking it out four inches wide on a chip of fabric so I can make the casing for the waistband of the skirt so I'm just cutting it straight down on the fabric and you'll need the casing as long as your measurements would be for your waist so probably as long as the skirt and it looks like this and you'll just fold it over like that to kind of encase the elastic now I'll be grabbing the measuring tape to measure out my waist on the elastic and cut it to that length once that's done, I'm going to fold over the velvet casing and pin it all down, so inside out. So once you're pinning it all down inside out, it will just make it a lot quicker to sew it. So just carefully pin it down. I know pinning's like long, but it just makes it so much easier when you're sewing and so much more accurate. Once you've pinned it all down, just go going to carefully sew straight where you've pinned to secure the casing together. Once it's all sewn down, it should look something like this. It looks like a sausage casing. <laughs> um, it's even the right colour and everything. Now we're going to flip the casing 
inside out so it's the right way around. Once it's flipped inside out it should look something like this. Now we're going to grab a safety pin and attach it to the elastic so we can thread it through the casing. Attaching a safety pin to it makes it so much easier to thread through as you've kind of got like a point to hold on to so it makes it just so much quicker. Okay and once you thread it through it should look something like this. And you're going to grab the two ends and sew it together so you'll have a ring. Just really carefully sew it together as it'll be like kind of thick. And it should have something that looks like this. You can of course cut off this extra bit, it's just excess elastic. And be careful, make sure your velvet is stretching the right way otherwise your waistband will be useless. Okay, now we're going to take the waistband and attach it to the skirt by carefully pinning the fabric to the skirt. Make sure you're not pinning the actual elastic otherwise it then won't be able to stretch. You'll be restricting it. So be careful when pinning it, kind of do it flipped so it looks something like this when it's all pinned down. So when you kind of like flip it the other way you can't see it's like seamless, it looks really nice and neat. So yeah, just make sure you haven't got any of the elastic in it. And then once that's done, you're just going to sew it down carefully again, avoiding the elastic. And then you'll kind of have the waistband of the skirt done. Now we're going to grab a top and I'm, making, I'm just showing you which way it stretches, so it stretches the right way. And I'm pinning down this top to the fabric. I decided I wanted to use this top for my reference, but I'm going to make it shorter because I want mine to be cropped. I just thought it was a really nice fit and I like the length of the sleeves. You can use whatever top you like or um, design your own. I designed my own for the um, ginning set, but this time I kind of really knew what I wanted. I wanted this one to be a lot more simple. So now I'm just cutting around the top after I've chalked it out and just neatly cutting around what I've chalked out. The sleeves will come second. It's easier just to cut out the body first and then match it all up afterwards so you have like a kind of, we'll have like a vest kind of shape at the end of it. Okay, now I'm just gonna unpin it. And voila, you have like this kind of vest shape now as a start and I'm just going to kind of neaten up the edges to make sure it's all like symmetrical. Now that's done I'm going to pin down the shoulders of the top so they can be sewn together and also going to pin down the sides. It's easier just to do as much pinning as possible so you can just kind of sew it all in one go. So I'm going to sew down the sides of the top so we can create those armholes and sew down the shoulders. And now we've kind of got a proper vest. Um, the bottom will need to be hemmed off the top as well of course and we'll need to do the sleeves. So now I'm going to grab the sleeve of the top and chalk it out so we've got a template for it. And I'm trying to make the shape of the arm so it matches up to the shape of the arm on the vest. I'm just like curving it with the chalk. And I'm going to pin it down since velvet's like weird and grippy. This will just make it so much easier to cut out. Now we're just going to neatly cut out the first arm shape. I've doubled up the material so it will be a complete arm. Now I'm just pinning it, seeing what it looks like next to the vest. And now it's all pinned together and I'm just grabbing another bit of material and making sure it's stretching the right way for the arm to be. And we'll fold that in half and pin the other arm to it so both your arms will be exactly the same this way. It's good to use the first one as a template or if you can cut all four of them out together but I just chose to do it this way. And after you unpin it you should have two arms that are identical and I'm just going to pin down the side of the second arm too so as I said I like to just do loads of pinning in one go so I can just do loads of sewing. It's a lot easier. And now I'm going to grab the first arm and pin it down to the sleeve of the top so it can sew. If you can't see how I'm pinning it down to the top better, 
in this clip you'll see when I when I move the next arm so now I'm just going to carefully sew that around and make sure it's sewn down neatly now we're doing the same with the next arm see it's like all it's inside out all pinned around the top like so and just going to continue doing that around the other side and it should look something like this pinning it something like this it is a bit fiddly this but so just be really patient with it the more secure the better it just makes the sewing um, so much easier and it should look something like this when it's all penned and you can now go and sew it all in one go and just carefully sew it round and then you can then sew down the arm seam okay now you should have something that looks like this and now we're going to hem the bottom of the top however you like it I want mine cropped so I'm kind of rolled over it a lot and I can then cut off the excess and now we're going to do the same with the skirt you've probably seen me hem a skirt so many times so I'm just going to be folding over like around an inch at the bottom and penning and then just going to go ahead and hem down the skirt carefully to sew it all down and make sure you're sewing it straight then you should have something that looks like this it's so cute I love this material, it's such a nice, rich, lovely colour and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, see you guys soon for another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!